UW-Madison has been a leader for political advocacy on college campuses since its inception. Concerned students and faculty have voiced their opinions on various issues, from civil rights to the Vietnam War. As an institution known for its conservation programs in a state once governed by famous environmentalist Gaylord Nelson, environmental advocacy has thrived on this campus. You will not find another university in the country that has, was so integrally involved in the early construction of environmental advocacy, and it really did start with Gaylord Nelson's Earth Day. Environment is a problem perpetuated by expenditures of tens of billions of dollars a year on the Vietnam War instead of on our decaying, crowded, congested, polluted urban areas that are inhuman traps for millions of people. Gaylord Nelson founded Earth Day on April 22, 1970, which kicked off with a national teach-in on the crisis of the environment on college campuses across the country. At UW-Madison, student orgs came together during that first Earth Week to plan campus-wide events, Lifestyle on Trial. The week was jam-packed with environmentally focused education seminars, as well as entertainment, including an environmental art exhibit at the Union and a canoe tour led by hoofers. The goal of this campus-wide teach-in was to inform as many people as possible of the crucial problems afflicting our environment, and to point out the urgent need to reverse this destructive trend. By using education as a force for change, environmental teach-ins on college campuses motivated countless students to get involved in an issue they previously knew little about. Students turned this classroom dialogue into active participation by invoking change in the UW-Madison community. Decades later, as environmental issues change, UW students' approach to advocacy stays the same. Learning doesn't necessarily translate into doing, but I think it's a real important first step. So the more I know about an, an environmental issue, the more quickly and thoughtfully I can react to it if I decide I want to act. Today on campus, students' environmental advocacy extends beyond just Earth Day as they use student orgs to spread awareness of ecological issues, plan teach-ins about climate change, and organize protests for divestment from fossil fuels. One of the student orgs is the Sierra Student Coalition. SSC, or Sierra Student Coalition, is basically a general environmental um, organization, so we have different volunteer events and educational events like film screenings or speaker events. So it's a way to get involved and then also like teach others what's going on. So I think getting the word out there and making people understand like what's going on and what needs to be done and how they can help is really important. This first Earth Week teach-in illustrates the symbiotic relationship between education and advocacy. Without education and the ability for students to learn about the issues affecting their lives, they would be ill-equipped to begin and expand upon the advocacy process.